Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Cherie, and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, hot hors d'oeuvres, why we only live to serve. Try the great stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, miss, this is France. And a dinner here is never second best. Go on, unfold your menu. Take a glance and then you be our guest. Be our guest, be our guest. Be ragout. Pie and pudding on flambe. We'll prepare and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared, but the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flatware's entertaining. We tell jokes, I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks, and it's all in perfect taste that you can bet. Come on and lift your glass. You want your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's an Dining, we suggest be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Life is so unnerving for a servant who's not serving. He's not whole without a soul to wait upon. Or oh, are those good old days when we were useful? Suddenly those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting. Needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. Most days we just lay around the castle. Flabby, fat, and lazy, you walked in and oops a daisy. It's a guest, it's a guest, sakes alive, well, I'll be blessed. Why you pour to thank the Lord? I've had the napkins freshly pressed. With dessert, you want tea? When my dear, that's fine with me. While there comes to their soft shoe, and I'll be bubbling, I'll be brewing, I'll be warm, I'll be hot. Six is on a spot. Clean it up. We want the company impressed. We got a lot to do. Is it one lump or two? Are you our guest? You are guest. She's our guest. You are guest. You are guest. You are guest. Our command is your request. It's ten years since we've had anybody here, and we're obsessed with your meal. You'll let your eaters and be we aim to please. While the candlelight is glowing, well, let's hope you will be going. Of course, of course. By one till you shout, Enough, I'm done. Then we'll sing you off to sleep as you digest. Tonight we'll prop your feet up, but for now, let's eat up. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Please be our guest. That was Be Our Guest from Disney's Beauty and the Beast, and we sang and played that straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along. Uh, but right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a, a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want over a thousand more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, just like this one, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now, right hand, uh, I'm gonna go with the right hand first. Oh, by the way, there are two versions of this song sheet in the same song sheet, that is to say the second one, is a simply a simpler version in the same key. You could play it. If you're a beginner or you just don't want to try that hard, then go to the second version, period. Uh, the main difference is it doesn't have a lot of the segue chords. The chords in between, you know, when it's it's like, uh, sorry, uh, you know, when it, when it goes uh, like with a step down or whatever, uh, it doesn't have every single chord there. You, you hang on each chord longer. And there are some simpler versions of some of the chords. So, um... I invite you to go to that one instead. I'm gonna be uh, going over the more complex one here, but uh, basically it'll just be easier. <laughs> okay, right hand. For the Mars part, I did two different things. There are exceptions I'll go over uh, in place, but generally speaking, 
uh, there are like in the intro, in the bridge, I did what I call a flutter. And I'm not trying to keep time. I'm just as fast as I can, a single finger. That's it. That's all I'm doing. My chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. I'm just speaking along. I'm not even, I'm not even speaking uh, with a tempo, right? So it's a, I call that a flutter. And then the other one is, uh, it's kind of a front beat strum. You know, back beat strum would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well, this is a front beat strum. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's pretty much it. I, generally speaking, I'm pausing after the first down. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Generally speaking, sometimes when it gets real fast, it gets fast. Um, it's actually easier to play fast than it is to sing fast. But if you can sing fast enough to keep up with it, and you want to play fast enough to keep up with it, and then sometimes I did just... Somehow that was a little, uh, a little easier to do uh, very, very quickly. All right, I'm going to stop talking about that now, right hand. As far as the chord transitions, starting out in the intro, starts with uh, a second position D. You can always, that's the only higher chord that I played, by the way. You can always use just a straight D. If you see a, a tiny two superscripted in the same color, it means second position D, as in one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all Ds. It's just a D, but that sounded more like the original, so... There with a hang. Ma chère mademoiselle. By the way, if you find it easier, you could you could take your time. You could do a second position G here, because then you only have to slide down one fret to the F sharp. F sharp may be the hardest chord in the song. Anyway, um, but so I just I just went from a G. But then I have to move a lot more, don't I? I have to bar that and drop the rest for the F sharp. From there to the C, I'm just gonna move my middle finger up. We welcome you tonight, and now we invite you to relax and pull up a chair. That's my D7, right? All I have to do is drop that index finger across, bar the second fret. As the dining room proudly presents your dinner, put two fingers on the fourth fret, the two strings closest to the floor and just tweak them. That's it. That's what that is. B, out, guess. Sorry, yes. B, out, guess. So I'm going from a G, I'm flattening it out to the D, G major seven. And then I arch it again with a G six, so I'm only covering the two strings. Service to the test. And then I drop it back to the G, so. By the way, you're welcome. There are four verses. Each of them comes with a key change in the original, and I didn't do any of them. I did all of mine in the same. I started transposing to the second one, and I was like, wow, this is harder. This is going to be a rough song. And then I realized that there were going to be a lot more key changes, too. I'm like, yeah, nobody's going to be thanking me for making this authentic. So I took out all the key changes. I did everything in G. I did everything in the original uh, verse one key. So you're welcome. <laughs> all right. So, so you learn this, you get to do it four times because all four verses, right? So G, G major seven, G six, back to G. That's that. Okay. Tie your napkin around your neck, Sherry. So from there, I'm sliding down. I bar the first fret and drop two more fingers. That's how I do that G sharp diminished seven. By the way, we are going to do a C, uh, sorry, yeah, D sharp, uh, diminished second. We're going to do it higher up too, but right now it's first fret, right there. And we provide the rest. So C6, pick them all up, then F sharp diminished is just the two fingers there. Somebody, some people call it a Hawaiian D7, apparently that's very uh, popular as a, as a D7 alternate. I've heard Hawaiians tell me that in white but so um now pick that up and you've got an a minor i call this an a minor down right the idea is you've got a sorry that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a step down 
So you got, that's what I wanted to hear. Well, that one is already there. That's the A string. And then I drop my ring finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the floor. And then I pick it up, try the gray stuff. So it starts with an A minor, then fourth fret, third fret, second third fret, which brings me right back down to that uh, F sharp diminished, doesn't it? And then I pick it up again. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious, all right? But so that's what that step down is. And you can, you can just ignore that and just play an A minor if you want. You can. Yes, you can, you can. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. It's just two, it's kind of like uh, your F sharp diminished, except over here, just two fingers. And then this is fast, but it's not hard. It's not hard because you drop your whole finger across the second fret and that's it, that's your D6. And then slide down one fret and drop one finger and that's your B flat seven. And then pick them up and that's your C6. And the one right after that is D7, which is also a pretty quick one to drop. So actually it's it's five chords in quick succession, isn't it? Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. One, two, three, four, five. Right? They all come that fast. But it's not that hard to do. The the chord transitions aren't that hard. D6 again. Slide down, B flat seven, pick it up. Drop the D7, and now your, your middle finger is at least in the right place. Just slide it down and drop the G after it. And this is the same, uh, the same progression as we saw before. They can sing, they can dance. After all, Miss, this is France. And a dinner here is never second best. Now that's almost the same. So from G, G major seven, now you're gonna go to a G seven. Basically, you're doing, that's what you want to hear. Right, so dinner, G major seven, G seven, pick it up for G six, and slide that up for a C. It's <laughs> good. And I'll go on and pull your man. Now I change my right hand just a little bit. You hear that? To give that emphasis on that. Go on, unfold your, now the emphasis on the up. Hold your menu, take, take a chance, and then you we are. Okay, so it's down, up, down, up. Sorry. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's where the emphasis is. I don't really think about that sequence. I just put the emphasis where I hear it in the song where I hear in my voice, even, you know, as I'm singing along, and uh, and then make that emphasis in your hand. But keep your hand going up and down, so that's where it ends up coming. Sorry. Sorry. That's it. Hold your man, you take a chance, and then you be our guest. Next chorus or next uh, next verse is virtually identical. It's a little bit different at the very end. Come on and lift your glass to one your own sweet pass and to be our guest. Be if you're pressed, it's fine dining. We suggest be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. So this is the same, but then just if you're stressed. So from a C6, it goes to a D7, uh, which we've seen before, and then just pick it up for a D6. It's by designing we suggest. And from there, slide your index finger down for an E7. Pick it up again. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. And uh, what I'm doing is, that's it. G, D, G. That's that. You know, and a stop. That's the end of the first page. And fortunately, since you got a stop, you got time to push a button if you're doing an electric 
you've got an electronic page. Okay, now the bridge is a little different. It's all flutter. Life is unner so unnerving for a servant who's not serving. You can do E minor either way. You know, you can do it this way, which I, oops, sorry, what I normally do, or you can put down the extra finger there for a servant who's not serving. So from there, at least your ring finger is going to stay in, or sorry, actually, no. <laughs> if you do it this way, all three fingers are moving over, right? Moving over one and your index finger is flattening out for that B. Servant, no, he's not serving. He's not whole. There's again that B diminished seventh, right? Um, did we see that before? Gosh, I called it a G sharp diminished seventh back then, but it's the same chord. <laughs> um, cause here, then I was going from G's there. Now I'm going from a B to it. So that's why I, I called it by a different name, but it's actually the same chord. Odd, huh? He's not a whole without a soul to wait upon. Okay. Then, ah, those good old days. To that uh, C minor six, what I'm going to do, I got my middle finger in the right place. Uh, I'm just going to drop. That's my C minor six, right? I had the A, just drop your finger right where it is, bar that, and then drop another finger to bar all three. I actually only have to push one <laughs> string on this because I'm barring these, but it's easier for me if I just squeeze both of them down tight. That's what that is. That's C minor six. Ah, those good old days when we were useful. So after that hard code, at least we get a break. We got G, G6. Suddenly, pick that up for the C6. And now we can get ready for a weird one. Suddenly, those good old days are gone. Now, I admit, I think I actually cheated a tiny bit on that. That B diminished, uh, excuse me, that B seven suspended. No, I guess I didn't cheat. That is it. And I, I think I was doing it this way with a little emphasis like that with just down strums. But so it's a, it's a B seven, but up one fret. And I just slide, I, I drop my middle finger and then slide it down for that B seven. So suddenly those good old days are gone. to the E minor or uh and it's the same as that we did in the start needing no much so much more than dusting needing exercise of gems to use their skills exactly the same as the start of the bridge and now C diminished seven right it's just up one fret from our uh B diminished seven most days we just sit around the castle and now we end up that bridge with Flabby, flat, and lazy. We need a. We need to have a quick stop. You can use either hand to stop it. But so flabby, fat, and lazy. You walked in and oops a daisy. Now the third verse, fourth verse, uh, virtually exactly the same. Same transitions as uh, we've used before on all of our verses. So I think now what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop talking at you, and I'll play slow motion. From the intro, I'll tell you what, I'll play, I'll play clear through the bridge. Because uh, that does verses 1 and 2, but they end a little bit different. And it's not too much dupl duplication. Besides, it's kind of a rough song, so you can practice along in slow motion if you like. Starting with the intro. I'll be speaking very slowly. Here goes. One two, three. Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry. Why we only live to serve 
the gray stuff It's delicious Don't believe me? Ask the dishes They can sing They can dance After all, miss This is fresh Sorry, go on, unfold your menu, take a chance, and then you be our guest, we our guest, be our guest, the frog cheese souffle, pie and Life is so unnerving for a servant who's not serving. He's not whole without a soul to wait upon. Ah, those good old days when we were useful. Suddenly those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting, needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. Most days we just lay around the castle, flabby, fat, and lazy, you walked in, and oops-a-daisy, that's it, see you Wednesday, bye.